ask me what I'm coaching, right? I said, bro, I'm coaching life. I said, bro, I'm coaching life. They ask me what I'm coaching, right? I said, bro, I'm coaching life. I said, bro, I'm coaching life. Yeah, but to get off uh, the basketball and sports thing, um, I've been going in uh, my joint where I like try to like tap into old movies recently. Okay, I rewatched Dead Presidents. It sounds crazy twice last weekend because that's like one of my favorite hood movies that I never bring up. But, it's kind of lengthy though, ain't it? How long is that movie? Uh, like two and a half hours. Yeah. It's like two and a half hours. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. All right. I, I tapped. I watched it like. like Who's you doing it for? Uh, let me let you complete. I'm just asking questions. No, I actually, I, I don't know if it was Tubi or Amazon. I saw it on. I got it. I got hype. I'm like, oh shit, my shit on here. Like so, I watched it like during the day after the podcast. Whatever, probably the, around the Kendra time when we uh, recorded, and then I rewatched it again. But um, I want to say Cuddy. Yeah, and shout out Jarrell, yo. yo. I want to say Cuddy, yo. He's a he's a, he's yo. He's one of the uh the 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 most uh slept on villain, yo, in the movies, yo. <laughs> cold, yo, man. you remember when um, Lorenz Tate's character first gets back home and he's mm-hmm. trying to reconvene with his girl that he got oh, pregnant man. from um high school, right? And uh, Cuddy pulls up in like a old school <laughs> like seventy five Cadillac pulls up on that car. He gives us some bread. And uh, Lorenz Tate's like, uh, why you giving my girl money? This nigga Cuddy said, somebody's got to do it. <laughs> Y'all was like, yo, this shit, wow. Was he was checking nigga, that nigga yo. the whole movie. It wasn't no yo, Twitter and internet shit. shit back then. When he ran down on him with the it black was face and red suit face. with the tone. Like, face nigga, to face action. Head off, nigga. He rolled down on that nigga. Just peep what that is. <laughs> Niggas will tweet that kind of shit, but ain't nobody uh, riding Cuddy down on no nigga like out, that. Yo. And that's why Lorenz like, was like, yo, he had to go for it. Yo. What the and fuck else was he going to say? It's either shoot him or beat him up? It was real deep. I came back from the war. Yeah, I mean, See, people don't respect me like that because of you know the, the war that was that was especially in and then all of that. that war they didn't. My woman is lost this, that the shit. Dude coming, he just has like I gotta get my respect. I gotta get it how I can. Black people you know? wasn't See, shit when they got I back. I like that though because it had like a different perspective on like the black male, um, like mind frame of somebody that had to go to Vietnam. Because imagine yo like coming back from doing that shit like you really in the jungle. Niggas getting smoke blown up right next to you. Do you gotta come back and be a black man in America where they like, nigga, you can't come in here. Yeah. The fuck, the, everybody you. broke. Yeah, I mean, you still in the hood. It's like, damn, but yo, I, got, a, I can't even figure this shit out. That's what think. makes the movie well, though. You know I mean, but go ahead. Zach. No, I was gonna say the thing about that war in general. Like, people was getting mad at the soldiers as if the soldiers started the war. So those those veterans got treated. Far differently than the previous veterans from like World War One, World War Two, and all that type yeah. of stuff, because they were blank. Because you know everybody be like, "Yo, we had no business being over there." Yeah, yeah. So instead of you know the gut taking it out on the government, they just took it out on the soldiers because they were more relatable and near you. And it was like they didn't deserve that. Like a lot of yeah. them got drafted. We had family. Stuff. Like yeah. so, they got treated like crap. And then you a black man coming back from it. It's like dog. Like so, he shout had it to bad. my uncle Frankie, man. Yeah, shout out Uncle Frank, man. Rest and in rest in peace, peace Uncle Frankie. But yeah, um, that movie was just really, really good, yo. Like, cause you know what we try and do secretly, and I've been like tapping in with my book. Like those movies, like that, I be trying to catch like the other stuff. Yeah, you feel me? Like even the interaction What's between something that you caught that you haven't caught recently. You watched um, it twice, so it's gotta be something that you remember. So I like how the progression of innocence with Lorenz Tate's character. Because you remember when he was working at the pool hall under the guy that had one leg. I forget his name, but he's a, a, a very accredited black actor, and we want you on Coach Class Pod. But anyway, they in the pool hall. He was the nigga that was running numbers at the time. Is that when he rolled down on That's the nigga that and rolled no, up on no, the No, no. He uh, basically went... After what, he lost his leg, he rolled down on He did that after. Right. That's this a little bit after. But like, they in the house, in the um pool in the pool hall, and Terrence Howard plays against Lorenz Tate's character. He's like a 12th grader, so he like the young nigga that's just shaking and baking at the time. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Terrence Howard's character, you know, he smacked him, put the blade on his face, and they had to come save him. Bro came back from Vietnam and beat the shit out that nigga. Yeah. Like, I love the per- character progression. Like, it just showed everything. Like, even with the wife, like, she like, yo, you not bringing no money home. Like, yo, you a butcher. Like, you not bringing me no bread. Like, I need bread. You so talking about like, Yeah. Keith David. Keith Legend, David. Legendary. Legendary Keith yeah. David. Yo, that movie. Yeah, Keith I, David I love that movie so much. That's somebody we sleep on, yo. 
but that I, nigga's a legend. Amazing. Yeah. amazing. Even Chris Tucker's character, like oh, clearly, like a lot of niggas sleep on that, but yeah, like though. That, that Ron got him. And, and it was crazy because because uh because yeah. Harry uh, Ron. Cause I, I, that thing still messed me yeah. up to this day. I was like, that's fucked up. And it and it that was still good shit with the writing because like I think Lorenz Tate did two tours in the movie. Chris Tucker checked out after the first yeah. tour because he mm-hmm. got exposed to some kind of chemical or something. And when he got back home, it was like, you know, like, like yo, we still honorable type shit. And he see his man straight unked out on the corner. Like, all that shit is a psychological warfare for a shit. black man. You feel me? Because yeah. shit was different before that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And now everybody dope fiends and shit. Like, yo, that shit was I crazy. to a new drug. And Poppy Fields was wild. Them yeah. Was, was tripping out there. Yo. Like, they was... But, hey, that's the... You know, and y'all know my favorite shout out Lorenz Tate because he don't get the credit he deserves. But you know my favorite line at the end of it, they got the sad, sad mood music coming on. He like, oh, all I, I did, did for this, for this country? motherfucking country, yo, and he straight through the tight. chair. Zay, you already know where we at with it, yo. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to steal that energy, yo. I'm like, because I almost, I was like, do I want to cry or do I want to explain to him that like, yo, you was doing some crazy shit and your mind wasn't right, yo, yeah. like. They you kind of understood the both. Yeah, what you about my understand man? Both. Yo, um, Everything he was doing, but I can understand how you could flip. Like you said the yeah, you can right? understand and both. He had PTSD, like, yeah, there's a lot yo, his, his man was carrying a head before around. It was a diagnosis for that shit. He definitely had that shit. Yeah, yeah he, he was carrying that. Yo, his man was carrying Mental a fucking head. Yeah, that's like what I was about to say. The preacher, the preacher nigga was crazy as shit. Evil Dave Chappelle. What's my man? Evil Dave Chappelle. Bokeem Woodbine. He messed up, man. Stunting and fronting and stunting. Bokeem was collecting body parts, yo. Tripping, Bokeem, you was cutting heads off and keeping them in your bag, yo. You should have kept it low key, yo. Yeah, that's can't nigga give wanted him money, to come yo. back and give can't turkeys. Give all these like that. <laughs> yeah, shit was wild, nigga. Yo. You that's a, a great wild movie, though. Like, if y'all get a chance, like, obviously, I know both of y'all have seen it multiple times, but if you get a chance, I think it's on either Peacock or I'm Tubi or Amazon Prime. It's really you? great. And this may alienate some of the fans, so I don't want to say this disrespectfully, but if you haven't watched that and you black. And you in my age bracket. I'll put that yeah. caveat on there. It's a question. I don't know if I fully trust you. I it's don't a question know. Mark. <laughs> Some, <laughs> yeah. it all depends on I don't the know if I fully trust that's you. That's excellent black cinema. I don't know if it's I fully trust great, you. very great. Yeah, yo, that's a good, good, good movie, yo. Yo, it's too much. Like, that should be compared with, like, the likenesses of, uh, what's the one movie everybody like? Full Metal Jacket and shit like that. That should be, like, one compared to that level. That's a better one. You know what I mean? That go to show you what we was going through. A tamed down version of what we was going and that was through. And white people was enough. coming home and still having privilege. That's what I'm Imagine saying. Imagine coming home and niggas be like, yo, I'm like, yo, I got, I, I got, I caught two slugs for you, nigga. My like, arm blown fuck? off. My leg yeah, is like, blown bitch, off now. And bitch, y'all not even helping me out? We got exposed to chemicals. They was trying it's to kill us out, bro. that bitch. Shit got real. And that was the Hughes brothers, man. Like, legendary, yo. Did a lot of, it's a lot of work. They did, they also good. did American Pip and it's about but <laughs> also never mind we will talk about it later. But if you want to, real quick, I ain't gonna stretch it out. But like old movies, since you got into one, um, I was on. I don't know if you watched. Well, posted a couple joints on the story, but I had gotten to that Mo Better Blue show. You know, that's a classic. You know, Spike as well. Lee when Spike Lee was really on a roll. Yeah, like, Spike Lee was bag, cooking. Man. He was then, cooking. He was Denzel cooking. Denzel Washington going crazy. Yeah. Yo, I be talking with my lady about this show. He don't get the credit a lot of some of these other directors. He doesn't. Like that. No, no. I'm, overall, to an extent, but I'm talking about like not just his director. The amount of all time great actors and artists that he had in movies. Yeah. His list is up there with the greatest list I of agree. all time. And musical scores. So many people were on there, dog. Like le- legendary people to this day. Like to this day, they're certified. This nigga had all-time Sam great. Jack as the radio nigga on uh fucking uh uh Do, do the, the Right, right thing. thing. No, Sam was in that Sam was in mad movies back yeah. then. Yeah, he Sam had he had younger Denzel doing mad movies. Yeah. Well, several movies. And you Plus, already know Malcolm X is um, like probably one of my favorite movies of all time, yo. Like Spike crazy, is crazy, yo. Like Spike Lee was going And I bananas, think Spike yo. lost to some bullshit in the Oscars, yo. Like that year, yo. He, no, he, he, he should have got it from Malcolm X, didn't get it. Denzel should have got it from Malcolm X, didn't get it as well. He also should have got it for Do the Right Thing. He didn't get it. If you want to look at the movies that won, this is how you can tell Hollywood be on their games. There's look at the look at the type of movies that won the years. It's probably some war didn't. shit. Just, well, let me just say this: Driving Miss Daisy was one of them. One, yeah, that's damn. a whole other thing, yo. Just look at the, look at all the stuff. Like, but he eventually got his joints later down the line. They want us in our stuff. in our place, yo. <laughs> yeah, they don't like, want us up there. Crazy, you mean yo. doing too much? Leaving. That was an accident. Drive my car, nigga. And like I said again, with a Spike, his musical scores was crazy. Yeah, the jazz like even with Do the that. Right Thing, when it came, do need, do need, 
Denny. And she straight hitting the moves, yo. Denny. He had Rosie Perez straight hitting the dance moves in the beginning when it's coming on. Like, that movie is a Mixing classical the jazz classical. jazz with the hip-hop, with the, like, just understanding the current times, also going to the past and understand, like... Crooklyn was legendary. packed with wild jazz. That was, like, probably the jazziest one. Like, it was just a saxophone playing that whole movie, the yo. double dolly scene. I like a good saxophone. Like they a good tenor sax. Like, yeah. I mean, playing in the background. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Spike, yo. Spike. You got to pull up the Coach Class pod, too, because sure. you got a Knicks fan in the building. Oh, yeah. I'm a Bulls fan, so I got beef with you, but sticking, I respect you, sir. Sticking in that movie vein, I... I, I um. I caught Guardians of the Galaxy. Y'all caught that yet? I'm catching no, Tuesday. I'm I catching haven't. Tuesday. I'm going to let y'all get to it. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get to it. I'm, I actually um, might go see it tomorrow if, if my schedule is in. Uh, yeah. Check it hey. out if you can, if you get a chance. The Curtis one man. other thing I wanted to bring up, because the, the Fast and the Furious shit just came out. I haven't seen it yet. I don't Fast know. 10. I haven't seen it. Fast 10 came out. I wanted to ask this. Who would you pick to ride more for your family? <laughs> Dominic Toretto? Or DJ Envy, yo. Which one you picking? Yo? Dominic, Dominic Toretto. Toretto. Okay. <laughs> DJ <laughs> Envy is, sure. yo. I just had to make sure y'all was on the same tip. I told you. Yo, yo <laughs> have you been watching <laughs> him and Rick Ross yeah, go I've at it? Yeah, I've been trying not to, but I've seen, I've seen a little enough, yo. <sighs> I don't get into the messy shit, but like the shit that pisses me off about DJ Envy goes back years and years ago when Deezus and Samero came on there. Yeah. And they said like a light joke that was not disrespectful. He came acting emotional, and I'm like, "That's why, I asked nigga, the you question. talk about people every day. Every day, yeah. you talk about people every day. Personal shit, not even family. It'd be like way crazy personal shit that you talk about. Yeah, they said days. something like alluding to like the bread. Like, yeah, I'm sure they love. She loved being with Envy. They getting money. Like it was something like light, yeah, I like remember. light. They shit. joked on him because he went on the View or some shit like that, and he had that big silver suit on. You look. He looked crazy. Like, it was a funny joke. You did that to yourself, champ. That wasn't anything to do with your family, nigga. Like, why are you going crazy like this? But I said, like Rick Ross, shit, yo, yo, Rick Ross told that nigga seven sons could clean his pool. I say, oh, that shit. Crazy. That was a then little too much. he was talking much. about his wife being a... That's <laughs> too much. <laughs> Rose going crazy in the IG stories, but Rose, yo. you know, he talking to him. You, when a person talks to you like that, he that's don't a give a fuck. Has, it's no they respect. They don't have no respect. It's zero respect, respect for you. That's because that's because he know DJ Envy going to do some shit like recording himself Say DJ crying envious. or some bullshit. Yo, DJ Envy is funny, yo. It is yo. funny, yo. It's funny. Yeah, how it started off. Even even when crazy. the Breakfast like, Club what? was hot, like yo, I never rocked with yo. Like, I listened a lot. I'm not gonna lie. I listened, but not because of you, Angela Yee and Charlemagne. Yeah, yo. it was mainly because like, of Angela. You were the last. I guarantee you, if you he ask was anybody the only that was on the original, like on the original, if you ask anybody on the original, like uh, what was it called, Breakfast Club cast, like uh, or crew, who was your least favorite? Everybody said DJ Envy. <laughs> Put the poll in your story. Let's see what we can get. Yo. We need to see what people say. Everybody that. saw that. It was yo. the one that they hated. The Cause most. I fucked with Ange. Cause she would just be chilling. He used to be a Buzz Killington a lot of times. Yeah, yeah. Buzz on the show, yo. yeah. Or try to be like hard with a nigga. Like yo, you do. You're it. a radio analyst, this yo. Is the Stop shit it. That they say about light skin niggas. This is, you do yeah. the exact Emotional. same thing that they say. Yo. Yeah, you definitely was Mario Wine is when your wife broke up with you back in the past sitting in the fucking tub Chill with a out. suit on. DJ Envious is going to come down on you. Yo. I want him to. I want him to because I just check him accordingly. Like, yo, why are you so emotional? How do you talk about people every day and you this emotional? You married. You got like 17 yeah, kids, like, yo, my nigga. Clearly nobody. you shorty rotting with you. <laughs> Stop crying. You, 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 yo. Your hey, family loves you. Now, okay. there's, another, there's another story coming I saw out. It. I, I saw it. I know what you're talking oh, about. Yeah, we're not dropping dimes on black people. <laughs> Tony the closer <laughs> on his ass. <laughs> nigga, <laughs> man, that's all I'm going to say, nigga. Wait, is, is is he, he, does he have black <laughs> in him or is he just straight up Puerto Rican? Because we can drop dimes if they're not black. I think he only admitted to being black. He's admitted to being black. He said that he is. Okay. All right, so we can't drop a dime. I'm not going to say nothing about that. We can't drop a dime. More things come out later that we can't We can't drop a dime on him. It's getting nasty. We're not allowed to drop a dime on him. Yeah, that's black man. That's you. That's you right. Yo. You're exactly right. Oh yeah, and I, I, it's crazy gears. we didn't think about this, but yo, we also got to give a, a rest in peace to the legendary Tina Turner. Yeah, yo. that shit was man. unfortunate. Absolute. You the feel me? Rock. Crazy. Absolutely. Yeah, she sparked a lot of the waves for a lot of uh, individuals. A lot of stuff. A lot bro. of different cultures. Everything. The dresses. The, the like a lot of the dancing on the like. A lot of that rolled down to the next artist. She was damn near. She was artist, like the, the first the like Beyonce song. before Beyonce type that's shit. Like yeah, like, uh, yeah. Because so she had the dance routines, like yeah. had the fits. Yeah, you know I mean had the allure. The it, yeah, she was definitely while, true. You know Queen of Rock got, is what they mean? call it, yo. Queen yeah. of Rock is a high level of shit. Like, she yeah, was with the OG of rock. Yeah, man. You know whatever you want to say. 
Ike Turner, a lot of people credit him for having the first original rock song. You can get into back and forth about who started, but there's a lot of people that would say his... I used to know the name of it. I got it downloaded in my joint, but they would say he has the first rock song, period. You That's know? hard. You like, know what's so, cool? Like, it, it's deep, man. And, you know, I, had, you know I, I wound up, like, a couple of days after, just, you know, had to do a light post on the story. I saw it. Of having, I you know... That, that Tina I album, you know what I mean? Private dance. I saw you know, it, yo. Classic. I saw classic, it. That's player classic, shit. Classic, you know what's kind of cool, yo, down there? This is something I did last... Was that last week or was... I can't remember when I did it, but I just went down to the museum, that big African American oh, yeah, in, yeah. in history and the culture music, the joint. The music section of that joint is nuts. Yeah. The music section is dope, but they have a new exhibit right now, and I can't remember how long it lasts. It's called Afrofuturism. Oh, know? I did see that. Shit fire. Mm. Shit oh, fire. Oh, they put a lot of the music stuff in there, too. They have a section in there that's dedicated to the black comics. So you remember that documentary we watched on HBO Max, I think it was, or Max now it's called? Oh, the black comic book yeah. joint? Yeah. They have all of those I'm comics going. lined up. I was up. just there yesterday. I Storm. Should've you should have went in that shit. Yo, that shit is nuts. Yeah, I'm going to go before it. I'm going to look it up. I was, that was so dope. We, we went on a Sunday, so it was kind of packed in there. So if you oh, get yes, in there on a weekday, you What time good. is your uh, birthday this. thing? 12 o'clock. Maybe we should go after that. Are we going to be smacked? I mean, I think we're going to be smacked after that. I'm not going to be smacked. You know how I am. I'm not You got to get tickets DC early. You got to get your tickets early. So you might want to try to get them anyway. The only time I ever got tickets was the first time I ever It's went. free. You just got to get the time tickets. And okay. after that, I kind of walked in. They always advise you to just in case. But yeah. We'll see. You know, we'll yeah, see. definitely. It's a, it, was a, it was a good experience. They had the music shit. If you're really into Parliament, Funkadelic and George Clinton and them, they, they all up in they there. Got, they got a dope exhibit. They got a dope-ass um, yeah. outcast joint, maybe two parts mm. next to them. It's fire, man. I'm going to show you all some of the pictures after the pod. Yo, that I was, love that was a dope exhibit. That museum is hard. I still haven't been through all of it. I still haven't yeah, made it, it through me like all of it. Two it's, trips to get through all of it, but the third trip, I really like got to just really soak in a lot yeah. of stuff like that. The sports section, the, it's, it's, the war, it's the black, so the black people, that. the black men and women involved in the wars back, all of that shit, yo, like that joint is That's fantastic. hard. Yeah. Yeah. And I got to give a big shout out to Tiana Taylor, yo. I know you probably won't watch it because this shit is like wow, one of the impressive. saddest movies I've seen. About this. You did, uh, I thought, last week. Did you I did. Maybe week? a couple weeks ago, yeah. I, no, I said it was coming out. Okay. It came out. Okay. It's on, um, I think, Amazon Prime. or Pe- It's on Peacock. I'm sorry. A Thousand and One Drop, yo. This shit is great, yo. Tiana Taylor is excellent. The person that plays the son... It goes through like when he was like little, like middle school age, and then when he's like about to graduate high school. The graduate high school, it was a couple of scenes where it's like they crying, but he's like, it's no water coming out his uh, eyes. Yeah. <laughs> so it was blowing me with that. But a thousand and one was a great movie. If y'all want to see something that's like, um, I don't know, Antoine Fisher esque vibes, but like really great acting, excellent story, and very uh, relatable to black people. That shit is that's fire. It. I feel like you should watch. Both of y'all should watch that with y'all lady, I'll but sit never. behind her because I cried like I'm three times during the movie. Yo, I probably never. I was crying on watching that shit. Like that shit is serious. Yo. I'm not with that. That's just not where I want to go with it. I've been watching trash horror movies still. I've okay. been doing that. We just watched one recently, and I'm forgetting the fucking name of it. God damn it! But anyway, about this family in London or some shit like that. They end up the wife. Is from this affluent family, but her dad allegedly killed her sister when she was young. But you, it comes to find out, and I'm gonna spoil it. I don't remember the name of it, so if you end up watching it, sorry if I spoiled it for you. Um, the daughter actually killed the 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 sister when she was young, and the father took the blame and just rolled with it. You know what I mean, she just kind of mentally brocked it out of her mind. But it was creepy because the daughter was haunting her in the house because she was trying to expose her and see who actually did it. And it comes to find out she actually did it. But how they defeated the ghost pissed me off so much, yo. She looked undefeatable, yo. They couldn't do nothing. They couldn't pray her away. They couldn't do none of that shit. They couldn't go to the house and answer the questions because ultimately the daughter had actually killed her. What she had to do at the end was see what actually happened. She sees it happen. The priest comes upstairs after getting his face almost ripped off and throws a bottle of holy water at her. She just throws a little holy water on her and ends the, the whole shit. 
I was pissed yeah. off, yo. If you she only looked in, undefeatable, yo. How the fuck you just do it? If you and your lady, been, I don't even know. If you and your, I can't even if you and your year lady been on the trash horror movies, watch this one, yo. I might have. seen It's some called Terrifier. It's oh, no, it's a bad it. horror movie, but that clown it. is scary. Yeah, he looks scary. I would say that clown is almost equally as scary as Pennywise, Pennywise yo. Okay. Yo, he's mad weird, yo. This then, is the nigga, then, yo. Yeah, he looks suspect. Mad weird. He'll just like come around just like smiling and grinning and just straight kill a nigga, yo. Like, yeah, nah, those trash horror movies on Amazon been keeping me going. And then I got into uh, I can't believe it, yo. I got into Pit Master. On Netflix, we about the, the grilling show. Shit. I the saw the episode you was bringing yes. up. Wait a minute, I, I never watched that. I just started. Bro, we and just my dad started watching yeah. that for like a day. I've yeah. never yeah. even yeah. knew that came it out. It came out like a shit random. Fire. I don't remember this, this shit. Because you, so you brought up the episode, yo. and I knew what they was cooking. Yo, you talking about Myron and them? Yes. Yes. Yo, yo that shit fire, mad yo. good. Yo. Yo. That's how you get nice on the grill. Yo, that shit is mad good. I want one of them little egg like hell yeah. I want all that. They said you one of the competitions. The white woman that's the judge ended up saying all of average. Smokers or grillers, whoever have have these three things in that bag. I said three things. Yeah. I thought it was just one grill. That. No, you gotta have three apparatuses. Yo, I need that. That's I need that me. in my show. Is fire. Me and my dad that. used to watch that joint. I that think that show magical. was coming on so long. I might have still been living at home, which is like yeah, long. Been God damn. Busy. Mad it's been on like ago. 10 years. It may not though. be called Pit Master then. It might be called something else because it's only two seasons. It's like Pitmaster's Grill. It's Pitmaster. But you said Myron on there. Yeah. I that, think so. Yeah. It's I, think so. I think that was your. The I don't black know if dude. they do. Are they doing. Is it, does it look newer? Because they could. It looks mad new. So they might have. They might have gotten they a deal with Netflix. It with and did Netflix? New episode. Okay. But it's, it's not. That show it's out only for two years. seasons on Netflix, so I think this that might be the reason. That show was out for you. They might All be right. wrapped it, and if they did, that's dope. And I'm gonna look for it. No, you know, I'm gonna see my pops good. today. So, and we grilling today. Yeah. So it would be that's a good joint when we finish day. grilling Rest up and step in and watch. To the troops. Yeah, it's called Pitmasters. This joint. No, that's not it. Oh, all right. It's not it. I gotta look up what the name of it was on Netflix. It might not. I know be what you're talking about. It, it was new because the black guy. Because they, I know what this is going to let you know. I saw it. When they when he cooked this food, they said uh, the the charcoal it would it tastes too smoky. Yeah. The food was so you overly smoky. I watched it with mommy. I'm telling you, I, I, you you know I'm on my cooking shit. I gotta get on. I watch all that shit. Jump on there real quick. The Netflix taking mad long to load. Though. So I'm gonna look up the Netflix one because it, oh, it's called Barbecue Showdown. My bad. It's but you said Myron is on it. No, he's not. Okay, it's not. So that's I, a, I was a thinking of somebody else. That's a totally different show. I knew. What's it called? Once you said the Mr. T nigga, it was a buff nigga. Okay, let me look it up. Barbecue Showdown. It says. The second season just came out this year. I think it just dropped. That's what got me into I it. I saw it. That's no, and I was like, yo, I need some barbecue. You already know how we get I don't down. Watch shows yeah. Yeah. I like yeah. that. Shit. Yeah. That shit was mad good. I was in there like, yo, I need to get my old uncle shit on. I can't wait to get the sweat rag out and <laughs> get on the grill, yo. Yeah. What? And we always got to oh, say- Oh, 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 oh yeah, No disrespect. No disrespect. I just want to bring up two things real quick. One, we got it. I feel like that Spider-Man 2. Nigga. Fellas. That shit look like you playing a fucking movie. When I was like, this out? shit is Does crazy. It, it said this it? fall. It's this fall. That it's might it's make, make, might, might make me buy a PS5 because I don't even see a uh, PS4 I, I, being capable to handle those type of I graphics. I think that's, the, that's one of the games that's that's gonna 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 That's going to be the first one, five. PS5 only? Nigga. Yeah, I think so. I think they're going to force you to get the The five. shit you sent today, because I thought the one joint that came out earlier this week was crazy. Where it was just like, you could see the graphics was good, but the joint when he was like over the water, the Chasing fucking the lizard came out, Crazy. he fucking craving the, the hunt, symbiote, hunter come down, oh symbiote gosh, suit, yo. you got Miles Morales, I'm like, oh, they going crazy with this yeah. motherfucker. No, I'm yo. on it. I'm they on going it. crazy I'm grabbing with this that, and it's another one that I want to grab too, though. I'm forgetting right now. There's another game that's supposed to be coming out, oh, that's supposed to be a big one. Well, real quick, if you figure out... You oh, know, Metal Gear Solid. Metal, Metal Gear, Gear Solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Metal, oh, that I, was I, I was like, you got to be talking about I don't know why I couldn't yeah, remember yeah, that and, shit. And, and, and that, Zay and I had I a pause moment for one of the most pause-worthy uh, titles of all time, yo. Metal oh, Gear yeah. Solid Snake Eater, yo. Snake yeah, Eater as well. And remember they had the song Why where the nobody nigga singing on it like name, Snake <laughs> Eater in the industry. The industry yo, that shit was like a James Bond film. Me and the young boy was at the at the track. <laughs> yo, he was like, yo, he was like, yo. I was like, yo, look, yo, it's like this old school. He was, oh yeah, they dropping those again. I was like, yo, this title was always crazy. He was like, yeah, that Snake that title was crazy. <laughs> Granted, I want that one because that's my favorite Metal Gear Solid. Nah, as well. that's why they that shit was. Well, they doing the, the first three? They, well, the Metal Gear oh. Solids, the first three, and then they did Snake Eater. I think it's supposed to be completely remastered. Okay. 
That's gonna, gonna be, be hard. Crazy, if they bro. rematch, all the, honestly, all they should have remastered was Snake Eater, yo. Like four was hard too. I, I, I like I'm, all they all, all were hard, tough, but like, it's like the old ones. It's kind of like let them live off four. that nostalgia. But like when you remember when Snake Eater came out. That was pushing, I believe it was the PS2's engine to the limit, yo. Yeah. Like, it was like, you, nigga, that was the first shit where was you hide the in the grass, post up. That was the first one, right? You could throw a rock and then go run around the block and then shoot a nigga. Like, it was crazy. Ain't that the one? Because I get three and, and it was mad cinematic. Up. This one when they um because yeah it was that was it when um you had like the 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 the, the, the beam trip wire and you had to light the cigarette. I think you had to like blow the smoke just to oh, see the yeah. wire and stuff yeah. like that. Mm. that was Games was going crazy. Yeah, that was like the first it was one where it was like it was over the top. Beyond the Splinter Cell? Yeah. It was Splinter bad. Cell was in depth. That was tough, but that one was I crazy. would say in different veins. Would you see Splinter, Splinter Cell? What if got they revamped Splinter Cell? I want them to Sam do Splinter Fisher, Cell. Yeah. I love Sam Fisher. Sam Fisher was cool. Yo, I want Splinter, I Cell, Splinter, Cell, Splinter Cell, Cell again, yo. They should do that again. I'll play that. I get the Xbox if they only put it on Xbox. I'm they only cool. gonna put it on Xbox. That's gonna be an yeah. Xbox. Uh, I would do it because that, that's their, mm. that is their sneaky. That eater, is dude. that was their thing. <laughs> that is their because uh, I had Xbox back then. Thing, we though. had just regular Xbox back then, right? That was regular. Yeah, Xbox. regular Xbox. chunky Xbox. Back then, yeah, because the two was three sixty ain't right. come out yet until later. Yeah, uh, of course, because it's the next one. But. See, I wasn't smart enough as a kid. I'm gonna be honest. Like, yo, I just wanted to run and shoot niggas. Like, yo. me and my man, yo, my brother, my guy, be like, man. yo, you gotta shoot out all the lights me first. My guy. Who was that? Hide in the man, cut. Was that my man Justin? You gotta shoot him in the head and then walk around in this. Was that the third. me and Justin that was yeah. me on that? Yo, salute to my man Justin. Shout out you Justin, out there, bro. bro. Hit me up in the comments. Yeah, hit us bro. up. You, bro. you can pull up to the party. We used to talk mad long on the phone, bro, trying to beat that shit. We both had the book. The shit was ridiculous. It was kind of ridiculous for ah, kids like to be playing. The best, shit. most strategic, like war, war game before uh, like called Rainbow really, Six. Really started shit? going crazy. Rainbow Six was yeah. up there, but um, Ghost Recon. Ah, yeah, Ghost yeah. Recon. That was like you was really at war. Yeah. Ghost Recon was because there's that one bullet shit. That and so they got that one bullet so shit. That was you on like done? the per, first uh, PlayStation. Especially for Mike. Mike was one of them warrior type show. He would have been front front line infantry type nigga, yo. He yeah. need to be up front with it. He don't need to be on this. Oh, yeah, I wasn't trying to be strategic, nah, yo. I just want to come in and pop. Of course, yeah, he is first infantry. <laughs> <laughs> it's not That's of all course. We first infantry is yeah, funny as hell. <laughs> Mike, Mike was crash dummy. Mike was the crash dummy in the games. I was I coming out like John Wick so on, on a stealth if we had game. Anything that was like multiplayer and we was playing together, I knew I could get it. Rich be like, yo, how you died that many times, yo? I waste all the lives, yo. Of course, uh, uh, Halo is the futuristic joint joint, but the one that a lot of people will be sleeping on and forget because they had the interactive levels where the, the walls will blow up and all that, and you could shoot people with the rail guns and all of that. Oh, I never know what you're talking about. Red Faction, you know. Red oh, Faction no. was crazy. Futuristic. What was the other one? That was PlayStation. Yeah. That was PlayStation, PlayStation 2. 2. PlayStation, PlayStation 2. Yep, yep, yep. Because yep. they had the joint. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Like, that was the, definitely the first Gears time we of could War. run a car. Did y'all ever fuck with Gears of War? That was a little after, though. Yeah, that was that way was later. After, y'all talking about how r- racial the uh, chat rooms were on there. Or not the, the, the live rooms, the online rooms. I mean, that was just back then. Niggas would hear your voice and start then. cooking. Yo, they cook me. Goddamn, nigga. Hard ERs. Like, yo. A lot of hard <laughs> ERs, yo. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> I just <laughs> want to play the game. A lot of hard ERs, I just wanted to play the game with y'all. We just to have a good time, yo. We was just playing games, bro. Just like y'all. Goddamn. And, yeah. and one last joint, God, Scotty Pippen, please, yo. Oh, I saw that. Please, yo. Damn it, man. Just As a Bulls stop. fan, how you feel about that? You got you got Dennis on. Yeah, your matter of fact, Mike, yo, I'm gonna you got like, the God Dennis on your I'm shirt fall right now. Back, yo, because Mike is. I say a, what the Bulls fan got to say. It pisses me off because I have a Dennis Rodman jersey, the white and red you got the joint. Dennis shirt on. I mean, not Dennis Rodman. Rodman. Um, got the Pip- Scotty Pippen jersey. And you got the Funkos. I got the 33. Scotty right there. Nigga, I grabbed Scotty because I fucked with him. Scotty's right there. Look at this nigga, Scotty. Yeah. The reason I fucked with Scotty hooping wise is because I felt like he was like he Kawhi Leonard nigga, before Kawhi Leonard. But the shit he does now is crazy. Like, yo, you a skank ass motherfucker, yo. You acting like Jordan, what, nice? How could you even say that out your mouth? There's a lot of hate and resentment. How? It's because it's some son. of it may be valid. It's because his son is cooking the them cheeks. Bro. Nah, but they said that's why Mike stopped this. I don't even want to get it. But Scotty, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. That's I'm why a, he I'm doing give, this. I'm gonna give, give, give him his respect though. Scotty Pep, Scotty Pippen is one of the greatest basketball players ever. Absolutely, you feel me? Yeah. But that shit you doing now is weird, yo. It's gross. Yeah, I mean, I got the Funko because I fuck with you back then. Now. I wouldn't have Scotty with the afro in a cornrow, uh, no, whatever you got. He got, got the plaits now. He got the. Yeah, he yeah, trying yeah, to draw. Yeah. He, he trying to grow the uh, the locks. You First off, you too old locks. for that shit too, bro. I'm gonna just be the one to keep it hundred with you. Yo. We had we had Caesar Pippen, uh, faded Pippen, 
mini afro pippin yeah. uh, mini Rod afro pippin was the pippin one action. yo the taper afro was the one yo <laughs> taper afro pippin was my guy yo Once he got that's the jersey lead. that that I, that I envision when I put it on you feel me but I like think all you that feel weird like he wasted shit He's always going to be looked at as Robin to, to, to the to Batman shit. And it's nothing wrong with that. What the wrong fuck is with wrong that? with that, my nigga? What's like, yo, nobody that? did what yeah, y'all he did. he made it seem like huh? he went to Portland and like <laughs> lit the <laughs> league the up. Like, man. nigga, no. That's he, the greatest basketball but, player but what, of all time. I, we what, say that. What I will say is this. If the Lakers don't sweep that game seven out, Scotty probably gets number True. seven. Okay. True. They True. probably win that final show. So, I, I, you know... He wasn't like he wasn't going crazy. Like his numbers were dropping a little bit, but he was a key. He definitely was the key, one of the key. Oh yeah, on of that course. Team with uh, Abita Sabonis, they, like that team was Sabonis, mad. Like, if they get past the Lakers. Scotty had seven. Yo, he was he was that he was kind of that close. Yo, like yeah. so, but yeah, but still, Scotty, you gotta relax. Stop being a hater. You too old for that. Even, yeah, hate, even, even, even if you even if you hate, yo, to come on public. Don't like do it publicly. Do, it's just, come on, yo. Don't do it publicly. too old for that, that yo. Like, and uh, honestly, I'm going to let y'all know now, regardless how big the pod get, if it's a nigga I have a, a disagreement with in the past or I don't fuck with now, you'll never get that from me You won't even. I don't even This is my platform. Like, I, nigga, I'm not giving you that much life. I keep it a being. It's, it's a lot of people's names that I don't remember. Yeah, like you a race, I might bro. Recognize you a the race. Races, it's like men in black when they hit you with the little joint with yeah, the red joint. Like yo, exactly. you just out of the algorithm. Uh, after man. about three to five years, if I hadn't seen yeah, you, you out of the I algorithm. Honestly, you, yo. if you thinking about them in that mad, like they winning in your life. Exactly. Yeah, like, they you on your mind. Like, that you nigga be on his mind. Scotty, when he wake up and shit. Scotty, you should per- personally like Pause. stuff like that. Don't get. Scotty, you should take that tidbit of information and yo, just just stop. Yeah, you can't stop. You can only progress Cut with it. so much mentally. Your wife you did whatever she did, yo. It's, it's over now. Like, stop that. Yeah. What you doing and now And the sickest disgusting. part with me, like, y'all don't want to keep it a being. Like, yo, y'all NBA niggas know who y'all be cuffing, yo. Come on, bro. They like you while you hot, bro. Stop it. Stop it. Shout out to Chicks. Isn't who did that? Like, when you not. It's hot. I this forgot about hot. that song. That's not Chicks. Who is that? This is why I'm hot. That's uh, the Mims, only song that Mims, Mims, Mims. My bad, my bad, Mims. If you take the sun to multiply its heat, this is why I'm hot. This Ten is why times I'm over hot. than what you find. Said, this this is why do we remember that? Hot. We're this aging ourselves. When did that come out? <laughs> that's the only line I remember Pippin. because it was kind of it was kind of hard, yo. Yo, no, that's that's album I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna trash, lie. My, my, my favorite, my favorite one hit wonder was that. My favorite one hit garbage trash. I bought it. I bought it though. I supported you, Mims. I don't know what you're doing now, my nigga. But damn. Yo, my favorite one hit one day is Ray Cash, yo. Mm-hmm. Yo, in my, in my own, own mind, I'm like, a pimp like in my created own the way I felt like that. Fucking yo, mind. Was, my bravado <laughs> mentally, yo. One day we got to do the one hit one to pod. Yo. I want to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to show you. Yeah, we are. Somebody put that in their notes. That's hard. Put that in notes. Yeah, rest in peace, David Grease. We got episode 262, post class pod. Also, big salute to Ronda Don, man. I see you doing your thing with the youth. Oh, that wait, shit is so yes, beautiful, y'all. Yeah, yeah, that yo. shit Much is love to everybody bro. that pulled up and is, is doing respectable things, yo. Much love. But yeah, rest in peace, like he said, to Big Reese, and we'll see y'all next episode, man. Yes, sir. Peace. They asked me when I'm coaching right. I said, bro, I'm coaching life. I said, bro, I'm coaching life. They asked me when I'm coaching right. I said, bro, I'm coaching life. I said, bro, I'm coaching life. I said,